Hey, everyone, and welcome to Conversations with Curtis. This is Paul, who once played a guy named Curtis, and that's why we're all here today on a Monday, uh, May 1st. Happy May, everyone. Um, and uh, let's see, lots of fun things happening right now, and we're going to be playing some X-Files in just a little bit with Tori and Daniel. But before we do that, I uh, just want to give you some updates. But before that, I should say hi to folks. What's up, Albert VDS? Uh, I'm going to show your video in a minute. Ray, good to see you. Eternian. Hey, I haven't seen that that name in a long time. Good to see you. Fun guy play, Sasha. There you are. Uh, so yeah, awesome. Uh, Interlace, that's a, that's a new one. Uh, but anyways, welcome. for welcome. I hope you all uh, stick around. And I'm sure people will be joining us in a little bit. Uh, let's see. Before I forget... Um, this week, uh, just to give you a little update, so this week uh, we'll be playing X-Files today. On Wednesday, or on Tuesday, Daniel and I are going to interview a couple of uh, folks from Phantasmagoria 1, and that for our podcast that we'll release a little later. Uh, Wednesday, I'm going to spend an hour and a half doing my solo stream of Little Nightmares. I started that about a week or so ago, just on the spur of the moment. It was a lot of fun. And I have a little spare time on Wednesday, so I am going to pick up where we left off with Little Nightmares. Friday, Daniel and I are going to play. No, I'm out of town. Daniel's going to do um, a speed run of Phantasmagoria. Well, I'm not out of town, but I have a work thing that day. And then Sunday, uh, Daniel's interview with, oh my goodness, I can't remember his name. I'm going to find it right here. It's probably yelling at me. He could probably get it to me before I uh, find it on my my thing. But anyway, Daniel has an interview that will be premiering on Sunday. So that's this week. Um, and I did want to share with you uh, a video that Albert VDS uh, put together for us. It's it's hilarious, and I, it needs a little bit of context, I guess. But the whole idea is that we're hoping to get people to help us create some best of conversations with Curtis moments from our previous streams, from interviews, from anything that that made you smile and you thought might be kind of fun. So if we kind of keep it at 60 seconds or less, we can put it on our YouTube shorts uh, playlist. And one of our uh, one of our members, Hesena, started creating these clips for us. And we're going to show hers, uh, I think, on Monday, the first one she gave us on Monday. But in the meantime, uh, Albert VDS actually cut together his own special version of a clip that's called Who is Elaine? And for those of you who might remember uh, when Daniel and I were playing uh, Monkey Island, I kept forgetting who Elaine was, Elaine Marley, the the governor's the, the, the governor of Monkey Island or of Melee Island. Um, and so unbeknownst to me over the course of many streams, people were making fun of me because I kept saying who was Elaine. I, I couldn't remember who it was. And uh, so Albert painstakingly <laughs> found a lot of the, uh, a lot of the evidence of the fact that I, I, I didn't remember Elaine. So let's watch, let's watch who's Elaine. Here we go. Hello and welcome to who's Elaine. Elaine. What did I just refer to? Oh, wait, who's Elaine? The governor. Is her name Elaine? Oh, okay. Is the governor's name Elaine? Yeah. Elaine! Hey! Who's that? Wait, Which... who is Captain Marley again? Elaine Marley. She's the governor. Oh. So if it's Captain Marley, then James Jenkins is saying, who's Elaine returned? Wait, who is she again? The governor. Oh, yeah, her. Elaine Marley? Who's Elaine? Who the is Elaine? Who is Elaine? <laughs> We've done that joke today already. Elaine! Who's Elaine? Do what do wrote, maybe today Paul will discover the secret of Monk Allen. Who is Elaine? <laughs> Wait a minute. No, I don't get it. So what, I'm always saying who is Elaine, right? I know. I always yeah, forget who so Elaine maybe is. Maybe today you'll find out who she is. Ooh, that would be good to know. Is Elaine Elaine or is Elaine someone else? Is there more? No, Elaine is Elaine. All right. Who is Elaine? Exactly. Okay. <laughs> So that was that was great. Now I will say in my own defense, at some point 
I was in on the joke. I can't remember when, but there was a certain point where I started to, you know, give a few more Elaine. So I'm not that, I mean, my, my memory's bad, but I think it's not that bad. Uh, or, or maybe it is. Okay. So that's, that's that. Thank you, Albert, so much. That just went up on our channel today. And if any of you have other clips that you'd like to either create like he did, or just moments that you really liked, please put them on our best of CWC um, discord channel on our server uh, and let us know. And we will, we will show yours on a future stream and give you credit for it as well. So um, check it out. Um, Oh, also, I just wanted to give a, a real uh, great thank you again to Jwex for joining us on last Friday's stream of Momo. We had a we had a bl Gomo, sorry, we had a blast, uh, and he was great, and it was a really fun game and a perfect way to kind of kick things off. And uh, and if people um, are interested in being a co-host, then we'll tell you a little bit more about how to do that in a few minutes. Um, so there you go. All right, before I bring Tori and Daniel out. I would like to, as always, thanks our Patreon members and our coffee members uh, for donating monthly to this uh, channel to keep it going. Let us keep doing this and continue to provide this content. So thank you all so much. These are our 10 and uh, $20 and above members. Uh, at the end of the credits, you'll see our $3 and $5 members as well. But just a big giant thank you to all of you, especially you, Malika Chandler, as always, for being our top donor, and uh, Robbie Thurio, Francois Damagella, and Moffat Reborn for, for being in our, our, our top tiers. Can't, can't do it without you guys. Um, and then we're at a, uh, let's see, things have changed quite a bit in the coffee, coffee donors. Um, CJ at number one, December Clark at number two, Jwex at number three, Moffat Reborn, Hesena, Scorpio, and Ray Koopa. Thanks, you guys, for continuing to donate to these individual streams because it all goes into the same place where we can continue to give you guys uh, give you guys some fun content. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bring out Daniel and Tori now. Tori, Daniel, you guys there? Hi. Hi. How's it going? Good. How are you? Hi, Daniel. Good. Hi. <laughs> that was hilarious. Who's Tori? Elaine thing. <laughs> Who's Tori? <laughs> if you think you're an actor, then you can pretend as if you were acting, but I don't believe it. But also, Tori, be careful because there's enough footage of you now that someone okay. can come up with a someone can come up with a, a, a we're none of us are uh, without <laughs> Now, oh my god, <laughs> yeah, but a supercut of Tori would be a supercut of her solving all of the puzzles from all of the games. That's probably true. From your Thank side, would be you Thank forgetting you everything. Yeah, I can't <laughs> wait to hear the, the supercut of Daniel being grumpy, though. There was a little grumpiness in the who's Elaine there, I'll tell you that. <laughs> that, that, yeah, was young and stupid. <laughs> <laughs> um. Jocelyn. But anyways, uh, yeah, this is uh, really fun. And um, I, I, that was great. And I'd love to see more. Uh, I hope people uh, take that take that challenge and run with it. Um, yeah. As I said, uh, the more we can get clips of our previous uh, streams, just moments of them out into the general public, it's just going to help draw people to our channel because what we have right now are just these long, you know, streams and uh, mm -hmm. takes a while for people to, to commit to that. But if we get these cool shorts out there, that might help help us out. So so please do that. Um, On the other hand, if we get them out to the public, then they might think that we're goofballs. <laughs> we are. <laughs> yeah. What, what's, what's, what do you... Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so tell us about our goal today, Daniel, because we did have Jux join us, and we're talking about this this new thing. We'll see if it's if it's something people want or not. Okay, so uh, currently we're changing our first stream goal to a weekly goal, and, and then what will happen is if we reach the weekly goal at the end of our week, then we'll do a raffle between all of the donors, and and the raffle would be according to the amount they each donated. And in that raffle, if someone 
wins that raffle, then he'll join us as co-host for a day, just like Shwex did. So this yeah, is, so this if is you have a game that you love and... Yeah. Um, this is an opportunity for people to join... Uh, Moffat Reborn tip $20. We can do a Daniel Rage video. It'll only be an 8 hour and 27 minute short. <laughs> <laughs> I can give you one minute of rage if you want right now. <laughs> Thank you, Moffat Reborn. No edits needed. Um, well, anyway, what we'll do is we'll have a raffle at the end of each stream between the donors, so we don't have a, a goal to reach. We'll have a raffle at the end of each stream. And at the end of the week, if we reach our goal, we have a raffle for being a co-host for a day. Yeah. So I think that if you're up for it, and then that said, um, and at the end of every stream, do we already talk about this? Um, like today, even if we don't reach our goal, whoever um, just donated. Oh, you said okay, good. Um, I was looking at the at the. Uh, I stopped listening to you a while ago. I was looking at the at the chat. Um, but uh, you're looking for confirmation the... from the people while you're ignoring. Yeah, me. I would like to know. Does the idea of co-hosting a live stream like Zuex did on Friday, playing a game of your choice with us, does that appeal to you? Is that something that you'd want to, you know, uh, happen? And we're, we're sort of throwing this stuff out there. So we're not exactly sure if that's of universal appeal or not. Or that's, would you rather just keep asking? Tori. Tori, how is it to be co-host for a day? Yeah, right. Every Monday. I think it's fun. I Did Zuex have fun? I have to watch it. Because I wasn't able to watch Friday, but did you all have fun? We did. Yeah. It was great. Yeah. I think, I, I, think, I think it's it's fun. It's fun. I think people would love it. They'd have a great time. You guys are fun. We're You're fun. really nice. You're fun. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Do I all know right. any more words other than fun? <laughs> <laughs> What? Uh, okay. Well, I think unless there's anything else, have we? Uh, uh, should we get started, or what? What do we got to do here? Well, we, what did I miss? We have six degrees of phantasmagoria. Today oh, okay. we have the short edition because we have to. We have to finish X Files today. We have to. We have to finish it. Oh my God. Yeah, that's. I, I'm with you. <clears throat> okay. That. So first things first, we have um, this postcard, right? Here's a script. Yeah. Yep. Uh, 531 Bellevue Avenue. I think we might have a, I think we might actually have a clip of somewhere, if someone wants to find it, of of Tori reading that. I think I got you to read that one to, uh, during the gameplay. Yep. I think I did. So anyway, yeah. I went to that Thanks. address, which is over here. Look at mm. Curtis's apartment. Marwood. It's an apartment complex. Let's see what is 521 that. Bellevue Avenue. Wow. What what year was that? This is 2022. Oh, okay. So this is Marwood. If you guys want an apartment there, look at the apartment. Look, here's the sofa that you can move because the wallet <laughs> is beneath it. And it's probably bolted to the wall or something. Here's the kitchen. You don't get to see Curtis's kitchen in the game. Finally get to see Curtis's kitchen, yeah. Nice. But your apartment is so moldy in the game. Mm -hmm. Well, this one it's looks nice. Yeah, they finally they finally painted the walls. It's well mm -hmm. lit, and yeah. lots of here's windows. A, here's a bedroom. You can see that the oh. ceiling is really robust, so you can put yeah. on the. the you can see where his dresser swing. drawer used to be. Mm -hmm. Wow, how much do we get for that apartment? I don't know. Uh, pet friendly. So you can bring yeah. in your mm -hmm. rat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's great. What okay. was, uh, you should do a Google map of what it was back in 1996. Well, there was no Google Street View back then, but if you want to look a few more dates in the past, let's go to 2008. Pretty much That's as far back as it goes. I lived in apartments like that. I was living in an apartment like that when yeah, I was game a game fan too. too. Don't you remember? Oh yeah. But as a as the person I that know. so you you're you're having a you still have a hard time keeping things separating See, I'm reality Paul, from Daniel. fiction. I'm Paul. I'm the guy who played Curtis. Mm -hmm. Curtis lived in that apartment. Mm -hmm. 
while I was playing that role, I that also lived this apartment. so much. All right, let's play this dumb game. No, first of all, I need you to tell me if you've okay. ever seen this view in your life. Oh. Look at the trees. Well, that's all. That looks sort of. I could be anywhere. It's like Seattle University, maybe. Um, uh, so just looking at a parking lot of trees, that could be like any rest stop on the freeway, pretty much anywhere except for that I building. I don't know. Is that the, oh, that's the, um, yeah, that's the. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice job going around there. Yeah. That's, what's it called? The medical. I drive, you, you, you see that uh, off the, uh, on the freeway, it's it's just perched. It's this gorgeous building. It, it, it's lurking like a like a haunted mansion. Yeah, what's I forgot the name of it? Presbyterian Pres Presbyterian Church? No, no, it's, a, it's it was a hospital. Church, it's a medical it's a hospital. center. Yeah, it's a medical center. So anyway, you know but that's what we filmed. Yeah, yeah, I remember, of course. This location. Oh, you're gonna show. Uh oh. Good luck, Curtis. Oh, snap. You ever here it you is. are with your denim jacket. And here it is. Nice. Same angle. The bushes <laughs> are a bit bushier. Here's the stupid pole. The what pole was this? Look, what was this place? This this was the uh, mental hospital that Curtis was oh, in. Oh, don't have any more troubles. Let's see. This angle, we can go over here. Yeah. We can take a look at it over here. So it's this window nice. and the entrance. Mm -hmm. There aren't that many filming locations in San Francisco. No. Okay, yeah, I so don't. You have this. Call this lady. She's one of the best. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember that scene. This is how oh. Curtis finds Dr. Harburg's uh, business card. And this is yeah, how yeah. you get her phone number. Anyway, the second location is this location. Do you know this location, Paul? Uh, April Ryan, you're asking about the dancing boys in Phantasmagoria 2. Yes, we've talked about that extensively. So if you're one of our new, if you're new to conversations with Curtis, then uh, there's gosh i think just check out our youtube channel i think we even have like some a couple of short videos about that yeah we have a short video with uh, andy hoyos explaining explaining andy hoyos the director the explains the whole, three boys. yeah so check that out so anyway do you know this location mm, oh this looks like uh it's gonna be uh where we are in x files like some this looks like as some I think I do. East Lake, no. yeah, that's Ray Cooper yeah. is right. It's the Wintech building. At the beginning of chapter two, oh, you see the Wintech building. You can even see that they oh placed my gosh. the logo over here. You can see it like uh, for two seconds. I don't think I ever once saw that. That's crazy. I don't seen that. So when Bob gets murdered, you see at the beginning, like even less than two seconds. One second. So yeah. That's what's Wow. This building and it's this building over here. Yeah, it's on, on East Lake. I I yeah, I kinda know that. I understand you, Paul. You live in Seattle. How come you don't spend the entire day looking for filming locations from Phantasmagoria too? This is about, oh, this wow. is what I would have done. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's switch to the game because we're done here. Okay. All right, let's finish this thing. Let's finish this thing, and hopefully we won't have to repost the same tweet over and over again in which we say Mulder and Scully it's made are gone. Your, it's made your, your posting a lot simpler, that's for sure. You haven't had to do much. much. Yeah. Uh... I mean, we're close, right? Right? <laughs> right? Yeah. We've been close last week and the week before, but that didn't stop us from... 
from dragging our feet through this entire game. Okay. Nice. Run the game. Catch the cursor. It's eluding me. <laughs> Let's play Tori too. Last time we reached the hospital, I think she asked us for a badge. Did we show her our badge? I thought we did, but we we'll show her again, maybe. Yes. Uh, do you recall the name of her immediate superior? I need to phone him, and I've misplaced his information. Yeah, what's oh, let's... superior? Who's Skelly yeah. superior? Walter Skinner. This is her room behind me. We found Dana Scully. Finally. Found... Really? Yeah. How did we find it? How did we find Dana Scully? Because we reached the hospital at the beginning of day five. Remember the Jane Doe? She's Jane Doe. Oh. Uh... Hmm. Okay, well, how is her wound? How is her wound? Began healing. It was mostly superficial. As to her other condition, I have no idea how to account for it. What, what other condition? What other condition? I haven't been able to diagnose it yet, oh, so I've been treating the symptoms. Lethargy, nausea, extreme listlessness, dehydration, memory loss. Dang. <clears throat> yeah, go for it. Is she ready to leave yet? Oh, I wouldn't think so. Moving wouldn't be life-threatening, but she might not find it very pleasant. This game isn't that very pleasant, and we still play it. Has anyone <laughs> else come to see her? Has anyone else come to see her? Oh, no. Thank God you're the first. How did she get here? She was brought in. By whom? This is what used to be called a sanitarium, Detective. We're not bound by the same strictures as a conventional hospital, nor would we follow them. We pride ourselves on discretion for the patients, the better they can heal. Hmm. Suspicious. Yeah. Okay, should we go see her? Yeah, she'll yes. let us. She's not going to let us. We're not going to cease. Hey, look at that. Are you Dana Scully? Scully? Who are you? you? Oh, this feels like I, they did not film in the same spot. They clearly made a different area for her than them. It doesn't look like they're in the same room. Yeah. Hers is well, way better filmed, the quality. Um, I'm wondering if she just did this on her set to kind of, and they they never cross paths. You better explain yourself or I'm calling for help. Who sent you here? Show her your badge. Don't move. Okay. Did we get shot? I really can't believe I'm having to do this. After five years at the Bureau, you should know better. I need your badge and gun. What, what do we do? do? What do we do? We, did we just got fired. Fast enough. We found oh, Scully. And we're getting there fired is... for that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> so she she drew a gun at us, and now we're being fired. Being punished for, for seeing if Scully was okay. Mm -hmm. It was just a case of her mistaken identity. Why would we get fired for that? I mean, it's better. Things if you... always happen at work when you start. It's talking better if to Scully just and kills asks them, right? you something and you don't answer right away, then they fire you. It's the same old uh, story every time. Is that it? We're getting fired because we didn't answer right away. We yeah. need to just show our badge, right? She or should have, have just killed us. 
Okay. It's, it would be it's great to have. So stupid. First of all, I mean, I'm, well, a bunch, yeah. I'm a bit disappointed that they yeah. uh, didn't have a try again button. Because that Walter Skinner. This oh, you've, you're, you've been work you've been looking ahead yeah. here i see you know I'm, huh i'm skipping the things we already saw but Can why can't we just <laughs> is it oh no thank you we just died so we're reloading the game that we just okay. loaded to start this live stream it doesn't come bring us back to where we were no that's what i'm saying oh we didn't God. get a try again button so we had to reload what the save game. i haven't seen we, we weren't listening to you daniel sorry same old, same old. Are you oh. Dana Scully? Who are you? Who are you? Agent oh, Mulder Agent. sent us. Agent. We're here to Agent. help you. Assistant. We're here to help. Skinner. We're here to help you. Quick. Skinner. 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 This is Skinner. Assistant Director Skinner asked us to look for you. I didn't know I was lost. Who are you? Agent Wilmore. Agent Wilmore. How do I know I can trust you? Who told you I was here? Skinner. Skinner, we just told you. A black man. Oh my God. This is 1998. Oh my, oh my God. No, that hit a friend of yours, please. Man. What black man? Yeah. We don't know his oh. name. That's ridiculous. Who is this? You better explain you yourself or I'm calling for help. She, she's shooting us first because we're racist. Don't move. So. Okay, we're really not playing the game, so we're both a little bit confused, Daniel. Um, can't we just show the badge? Or are you enjoying killing us over and over again? No, first of all, <laughs> it's, a, it's a dialogue puzzle. We need to answer correctly, so we shouldn't have answered oh. black man. So she shot us because we're racist. Oh, we, we should shot us because we're racist. Okay. Well, yeah, we shouldn't have said that. Yeah. That was. Yes. Walter Skinner. So anytime we die in this game, we have to go back to the beginning of that Began. chapter. No, and go we have through to everything uh, over go again? to back to a save game. Is she... so let me just oh, save I... after this conversation. It'll help us. It will, and you want to explain? Oh, no. <laughs> I haven't been able to diagnose. Let's save the game. Yeah. Boy, so boy, we're going to say that Skinner sent us. Okay. But the other <laughs> options were even worse. No, they weren't. I think there was a better one than that. I, I'm, I'm more I'm more intrigued now. It's nice to know that I mean, I'm on the edge of my seat a little bit more than I was. Yeah. Are you Dana Scully? It's, it's nice to see Scully. I guess she is, in, but they don't share a scene together, or a camera together. Who are you? Uh, we're Assistant here to yes Skin. Skinner. Assistant Director Skinner asked us to look for you. I didn't know I was lost. Who are you? Agent Wilmore. Agent Wilmore. How do I know I can trust you? Who told you I was here? It's going to be a friend, of yours. A, friend, a friend of yours. a friend of yours. A friend of yours. Who? We don't know yeah, his name. She's going to shoot it's us. Ridiculous. You better explain yourself, or I'm calling for help. Who sent you here? Uh, that's it, huh? Don't move. Okay, so maybe it isn't. Maybe we don't say that we're Wilmore. I really can't maybe believe we I'm going to do this. Well, at After five years at the bureau, we're racist. Maybe we show the badge earlier when we say who we are. Who told her of them? She was there. I can't remember. Do you remember? Uh, Mr. X. We met a person called Mr. X, and Where Homer you see doesn't Mr. know him. See, I'm, I'm not. He gave us the weapon. Remember that pen like weapon? He told us. I don't remember Mr. X. What did he look like? He was an African American man. But where? The only one in this game. Yeah, but where did we see him? In the warehouse, it was a hangar. It was a huge hangar. Remember, last time. Oh yeah. See, this is what happens when you don't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> That's my excuse. Okay. 
Uh, now, I, I mean, I vaguely remember him, but I mean, I remember the, um, I don't know. It's strange. Okay, go ahead. Continue. Sorry. Okay. okay Are you Dana Scully? Nerve wracking. Who are you? How about, oh, what'd you do? Don't do that. What are you doing? What the heck Don't are you do doing? Don't do that. Don't do what? Daniel, you're trying to stab her with a stiletto. Agent Mulder sent us. Say Director Skinner asked us to look for you. I didn't know I was lost. Who are you? Use the Bureau one. I'm with the Bureau. I'm with the Bureau. I'm with the bureau. Pardon me if that doesn't put me at ease. What do you mean? Let me see your ID. Goodness, there we go. That's the way. How do I know I can trust you? Who uh -oh. told you I was here? I think... Friend of yours. Friend of yours, and then we'll show her the stiletto. Okay. Friend of yours. Who? We don't know his name. The man who gave me this. All right. He told me I couldn't tell anyone about it. Let's talk. Oof, nice job. I okay, I remember now. I remember now. Let's talk. Hey, you're a shapeshifter. <laughs> Show stiletto now. Show her the stiletto. No. Show her. How do you feel? Sure. How do you feel? Very weak. But actually, I feel a lot better than I did when I first came in here. Where's Mulder? Do you have any idea where Mulder is? I have no idea, but we need to find him. All right. Did you have radiation poisoning? Could you have radiation poisoning? God, I hope not. But I suppose the symptoms do line up. She looks like she's just been to a spa, though. <laughs> she does look very fresh. <laughs> what is this used for? You shouldn't show that quite so openly. I don't know what it's used for. Perhaps Mulder can tell you. When you see her head, when you're looking at them, you see like a little shaft of red hair. I'll bet you that's not her. Hmm, maybe. Where does the Terracon get into all that's this? That's right, it's a week. Well, one way or another, they were involved in smuggling. I think that's a given. I think that there was an accident at sea involving plutonium. And Mulder thinks that they were somehow killed by an EBE. EBE? Extraterrestrial biological entity. It's a UFO. What happened in the warehouse? Mulder and I observed some suspicious traffic in and out of the warehouse. We went in to investigate. We were attacked by a number of armed men. I was shot. There was an odd light. Mulder carried me out of the warehouse. I blacked out and I woke up here. Likely story. I I, I don't trust her. I, I think she's that I, person. I don't understand how she can trust us because he, Mr. X told us, don't show this weapon to anyone. And then in order to gain her trust, we showed her the weapon. Yeah. Which means yeah. we broke the first thing they told us not to do. What did your autopsy on Hurricane? What did your autopsy on the crewman reveal? The crew had all been exposed to levels of radiation consistent with a large-scale nuclear blast. Now clearly that didn't happen, but Mulder took that as proof that a UFO had landed in the area and that an alien life form aboard the craft had irradiated the Terracon crew. I take it you don't subscribe to that theory? There is always an alternate explanation. Mm. <laughs> Oh, I'm afraid that's all I have to offer. What can you two tell me? Well, there have been other burn victims. I hope that doesn't mean that plutonium was being transported. There's an unidentified man involved. We encountered him at the burn site and then later again at the hauling yard. We found a connection between the warehouse and the hauling yard. It's a trucking outfit in Charna, Gordon's Hauling. They've made numerous deliveries between the warehouse and a rural route that we haven't had a chance to investigate. 
rural route. Seems to me that we need to find the identity of the man from the hauling yard and that you two need to pay a visit to the rural route address. What are you going to do? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is get in touch with Assistant Director Skinner and then I'm going to check out of here. I can meet up with you two later at your field office, but I think that we have to hurry. Agent Mulder may be running out of time and if the smugglers do have him held hostage, they have little incentive to keep him alive. I think they didn't tell her that she's in a computer game and they told her we're filming a scene for a future episode. Let, let's just film it, okay? Yeah. <laughs> so she's going to be with us from now on. That's good. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. I doubt it. I'll talk. Lip service. Okay. We don't have anything to tell her. Are we done here? I guess so. Weird, we don't say goodbye or anything. We just. Where should right. we go? What do we got? Field crime office, lab. crime lab, coroner's office. office. Small house, house warehouse. Warehouse. There. What's up there? Sandpoint, Sandpoint hangar. hangar. What is that something That's we've where been we to? Met Mr. X. Yeah. Oh, should we go back there? Or do we want to. There is there anything. Is there something new? Is there anything new at like the crime lab or the 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 what you call it? The... No, wait. We have oh rural, rural route, route one one two one. We need to go to rural route. Should we go there? Yeah, yes, for sure. And everybody has to say it three times fast. Rural route. Rural route. Rural route. Rural, rural route. route. Yeah, you're I'm impressed. Hey, I'm not afraid of technology. Technology. What is it that we're looking for again? Rear quarter panel from a 64 Dodge Dart. Something with the number 82434 on it, right? That's the idea. Looks like we got our work cut out for us. Mm. OK. Let's mm. go. Let's do we use the AI hint. assistant? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. OK, we need to look at that pole. <laughs> Fine. Can we go? Inside the are those tr trains? Can we go inside? There oh, it is. Here's the pole. Wait, look up. Yeah. Oh, the pole. I thought you were just kidding. Wow. What is he doing? He's doing it. Who does he think he is? Dang, <laughs> he's doing his own stunts. <laughs> okay. Now he's got a bird's eye view of the entire location. Can dodge dart anywhere. And oh, so he's looking for the car. Can I go left. Keep going. That's it, huh? That's a, <laughs> that's okay. another one of those things. We only do left three turns point. and we're back. And we're back. Oh, that's what funny. What is the point of that? What go up? I want anything up? No. Only go down and look right, which is so, basically in the left. So there's nothing. To, so they made us go up there, but there was nothing to see. We didn't learn anything. We saw a little shack. There was a little shack. I don't know if that oh. meant anything. That's the door is here. Okay. Hey. Sorry. What do you want me to ask him? Um. Are we looking in the wrong place? Are we looking in the wrong place? Hmm. I don't know. This is the rural route, no doubt about that. Maybe just 82434 doesn't mean anything. It does. It must mean something. Now? Uh, let's just go down the line. Whose theory do you believe? Whose theory do you believe? Mulder's this a Scully. like that story. Scully's obviously <laughs> a by-the-book agent. I think it's great to hear of a detective who's a creative thinker. I'm looking forward to meeting Agent Mulder. Who could they, could they use, use this, this place for? Or what could they use this place? I'm surprised their operation is this big. The thought of plutonium traveling all over the country via rail is pretty terrifying. Especially considering Amtrak's record. Yeah. The shard is deserted. These boxcars haven't been used in years. Hmm. Or have they? Or have they? Can we look inside? Something? Anything? <laughs> 
Is it? Hmm. No, they're just rust. Huh. Come on, there's got to be a reason we're here. Wait. Hmm. Oh, uh, can we? This is our car. Hey, we got a Dodge. Car. It's our car. I was hoping that was a Dodge Dart. What about that handle? Other handle. Hmm. Do you have your? Do you have your? Uh, go back up there. Let's get up the ball. See if we didn't miss anything. What's that little shack that I think it's probably a train car or something, right? But is there a door on the left? No, we can look down. We can look up. We can look right. And is there a cheat sheet anywhere? You can look down, or is it going to make you go? If you, you look down, that's going to make him go down, right? Wait, maybe you'll use our, our binoculars. Yes, binoculars. Eight, Eight two, two, three, four, three, four. Oh my gosh, we keep forgetting we have this. Yeah, image. there it is. So what do we do with that? Eight, two, four, three, four. But now that we know it, he's going to say he something there. Try to get inside, right? I think he's going to report new information saying, I saw this thing. Whose theory do you believe? Mulder's or Scully's? Scully's obviously a by the book. Oh, we heard that already. Yeah. Is there anything new? All right, then let's wait. Okay. Which card was that? It was the it was the it just, silver one. It looks like silver, yeah. Hmm. So when we are at the pole. Wait, oh wait, do we just pass it? Mm-hmm. And then when we look the other way, turn around, and it's on the left. This one? No. It was like a long, thin white sort of one. It was white down white one. Yeah. Right. There, right there, that silver one. Oh, wait, wait, go back. Right this there one? on the left. Yeah, isn't that yeah, it? Yeah, might be it. Oh, wait, why does it look different now? I'm going straight ahead. This is how it looks. We just passed it. All right. Do you have your cheat sheet up? This is where we should. This is silly that we're having to. This is where we should cheat sheet. Yeah. Um. Unless you can, you climb up to the left. See, there's like a handle. There's a little. The cheat step. sheet says walk to the car and enter it. Well, I'm trying to. Thanks okay, for not. Can we, can we find the car? What's that? Um, that might have been it. Yeah. There's a little, there's something, only thing I've seen with an open door and it's that little one right there on the left. Wait, so we look to the right. It's that one. That's it. It's that, that one right there. No. So, it is, so, so it's on the right. So we need to go down the ladder. I thought it was on the left. Okay, it's on the right. No, it's on the left. Well, it'll be on, on the right. right. Is, is, is it on the right or the left? It's, it's on both. Face, facing. Directions I mean, don't matter in this game. Yeah, I guess not. <laughs> it's so confused. Oh wait, I thought I saw it. Okay, so we need to go here. Then Yeah, go go left. We go left one more time. It, sh it should be down here, I think. Or is it that one? Over here is the pole. Over here. I think it's on the right now. That's this it one? right there. Yes. Oh, there you go. I got an eyeball. Was, uh, when you looked at it from the pole, it was left. What's going on, Asta Dorian? You're going to wait and she's fidgeting. Is she fidgeting? Do we need our, um, our kit to see what that, do we need our evidence kit? Oh, okay. 
Well, obviously this fire is recent. This looks like an operating room of some kind. Okay. Can, can the light be turned on? <clears throat> no, nothing to do here. We can't talk to her. Just standing there. Hey! Hey! I didn't do nothing. Nobody said that you did. We just want to talk to you. <laughs> Look at this fidgeter. Yeah, he's... He's... Flossing. Flossing. Oh, that's so... Oh, we neither of us thought of that, Tori. What were we thinking? This guy, yeah. he's, the, he's the champion fidgeter right here. Yeah, he's That's flossing, and That's she's disgusted fidget. by his flossing. Fidget choices. Um. Is this your home? Home is where the heart is, near or far away. That was informative. Yeah, someone has to tell me who that guy is. Uh, I wonder if he might be a local actor, if anybody can find his name. See anything strange around here? Uh, just the two of you. And the birds, of course. He's a nut. He's a <laughs> nut. What's this place used for? Well, Don, the Boy Scouts conduct covert operations out here. You seen any men in suits or uniforms running around? Oh, yeah, all the time. Really? Yeah, ask Jane. I'm besieged by sniveling toadies trying to cheat me out of my sugar fortune. It's been a fire in a boxcar back there. You know anything about that? Sure, Don. I saw the guys who said it. What did they look like? Bloodless yuppies in cheap suits. Two of them. They backed that car up here yesterday and set fire to it in my own backyard. Can you believe that? Lifford uh, Fetters. I have some stuff, Don. That's Got it out of that burnt car. You may want it. What kind of stuff? What? From the boxcar? Yeah, the boxcar. You tell me, Don. What kind of stuff do I have? <laughs> wow, this is uh, interesting. <laughs> what kind of stuff does he have? Ori, want to choose one? Computer discs? Computer discs. Huh. You're a good guesser. They're all pervasive, that's for sure. Magnetism, the heart of modern man. Keep trying. Uh, photographs. Photographs, yeah, yeah. Photographs. Photos? I'm not saying yes, I'm not saying no. You're in the neighborhood. Oh. Let's go back up. It's like, uh, what else were there? Hard drive, moving, magneto, optical drive, moving We're pictures. in the neighborhood, so moving pictures is in, oh, still pictures, moving, moving pictures. pictures. Yes, and no. This game. Oh my god, it's good. Videotape? Videotape? Yes, sir. We have a winner. Videotape it is. Congratulations. That was fun. I really enjoyed that. Thank you. Uh, Ten bucks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they had a little Should joke. Business with you. Thanks. You're being told to save, Daniel. I will. While you save, I'm going to take a two minute, one minute. I'll be right back. Sorry, it's up to you and me to finish the game in two minutes. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so were you asked to save because something crazy is about to happen? I presume that I was asked to save because if I don't give him the correct answer, then he's probably going to shoot us or kill us or run away. And then mm -hmm. game's over. Okay, yeah. we have the videotape, so let's go to... Where can we play it? Well, it's 1998. Everyone has a VCR at home or at the office. Should we go to the office? Yes, we should. 
Let's mm. tell Paul that he missed a crazy scene of UFOs coming in and abducting the, the homeless guy. <laughs> Did you find this building? Did we see this building? I forgot. Yeah, I found this building. I'll show it. Put it in. <clears throat> Should we wait for Paul to play it? Wait, yeah. this. Oh, yeah, yeah. But in the meantime, we'll have to sing a song to entertain everyone in the chat. Okay, you, you start it. I'm a Barbie girl. In a Barbie world. What I miss? What I miss? We're back at our. Not back nothing. Off. We're not trying to any songs. And I, I think mm. I got the lyrics wrong. But no, we were waiting for the right. tape. I did. Did we get any? Oh, we got a mixtape. Okay, we got the yeah. video tape. We went, we're back at the office, and we're gonna put it in. But. And nothing else happened while you were gone. No, I don't believe you. Yeah. Nothing crazy happened. Yeah, don't, don't watch the yeah, don't watch the live stream on YouTube. Mark Cook, Mary Dorian, Mary Dorian, Mark Cook. Nice to meet you. <laughs> he almost fell down. They could have done a different take of that. Didn't even say hello to her. No. Oh, this is a uh, Mulder. No. Alien autopsy. Yeah, totally. Okay, somebody's obviously cutting on something. What do these clandestine medical experiments have to do with Russian smugglers? And if this guy's a surgeon, what was he looking for at Gordon's Halling? And what was that experiment being performed? I don't know. Whatever it was, the patient didn't look human. Is there any way to ID the good doctor there? Yeah, all you're gonna do is take a frame of the video and match it against the databases. It can definitely be done. Okay, so let's do it. What? Or are you are you in charge or there? Oh, cool. I'm in charge. <clears throat> so capture, mm -hmm. and then look for him. Wow, they had face recognition back then. Select category. What do Criminal? you think, Tori? Criminal. 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 It's always the government. And then it's probably government. Yeah, government. FBI. There we go. No, government. All right. I was right. Military surgeon. What's his name? Jonathan Roach. Hmm. Rouch. Rouch. Okay. Security or ordered censorship of some information concerning this subject prevents disclosure of all pertinent information requested unless the recipient has proper clearance level. Let's go to Paul Warner's office. Mm. So, <clears throat> okay. Deleted, deleted, deleted. So, what do we need to get? Clearance? So he's working. Well, what do we need from this? Do we need to get we clearance? Get Wait, what did, can you go back? What did that say again? It said. He's been, it's all these things have been deleted. So, you get a sense that he's working for a very covert. Organization. You have to be. Um, okay. Okay. I don't know what um, we should do with, but we bingo. can talk to. Okay. What do we have here? Dr. Jonathan Rausch. That's him, all right. Rausch. Wow. Military, huh? Yeah. Looks that way. What's that? Someone's trying to establish a video conferencing link. Oh, what the hell. Never really tried to use this thing before. Like the first FaceTime ever. Well, let's connect it. Nice video conferencing. Could it be Mulder? Ed Wilmore? Yes. Ah, we're in the right place. The long gun. 
Wow, this is really ahead of its time. Yeah. How did you get this address? Well, we assumed you had the standard issue bureau box on your desktop. And all those are equipped Wayne's for World. duplex video conferencing, though nobody ever uses it. So we just looked you up in the Peekaboo white pages, which lists the DNS entry and IP address of every Peekaboo equipped machine in the country. It's pretty straightforward, really. You want Janet Reno's number? Uh, no, I'll, I'll pass. Thanks. Are you sure? She keeps the computer in the bedroom. Who are you? Who are you? Friends of Agent Scully. Some of us are more than just friends. She asked us to contact you. What do you want? Agent Scully contacted us with information about the case you're working on. Now, based on what Dana told us, we believe that there's a top-secret facility in Alaska involved. You gotta go to Alaska. Tell me about Alaska. Okay, what's the big deal about Alaska? Well, this facility is a right. nexus point for most of no, the government's West Coast coming. boxcar work. If this is true, Mulder's an incredible danger. This facility was built in the early 60s. We think they chose Alaska so they can use the Aurora Borealis to hide UFO traffic into and out of the base. We also this think new the music craft too. recovered in the Pacific is stored there. What's boxcar work? Ah, one of the great unspoken peace dividends. The government has a massive network of rail cars, which they can use as mobile surgical theaters, autopsy rooms, and quarantine facilities. These boxcars have a twofold purpose. They allow the government to quickly pick up and transport stray EBEs, and they serve as a mobile base of operations for a series of genetic experiments. Whoa. What kind of genetic of experiments? The cross-pollinization of the human race, intermingling human DNA with genetic material from EBEs. Great, I don't believe this. Suddenly I'm Barbara Bain to you and Martin Lando. Even well, Agent were... Wilmer didn't understand that reference. I don't understand that reference. Which Where's Mulder? That? We're not sure. But knowing Mulder, if there's a trail leading to this facility, he's following it. Scully mentioned an unidentified man who was of some concern. Did you manage to determine his identity? Yeah, Dr. Jonathan Rausch, a Navy surgeon. You know, where's he stationed? Eisenhower Field, Alaska. Oh yeah, that's the guy. Surprise. He served a stint in Perky, West Virginia? Yes. But this is bad. Listen, you have How to did he that know? Mulder may not have much time left. First go to Rausch's house and then on to the secret base. Okay, how do I get to the base? Well, Scully said you had a PDA? Yeah. Great, I'll email you the GPS coordinates of the base. This facts. Mark is the bad guy. It's just so obvious. The Canadian border guard was found dead this morning from massive unexplained burns, and Mulder's rental car was observed crossing the Canadian border into Alaska. I don't believe this. Well, that's it then. Uh, no doubt about it. You're gonna have to get there ASAP. I just uploaded the GPS data. Well, no, I'm gonna keep Mulder alive. We gotta get moving. You get to Roush's. You're probably gonna want to take a charter flight. The airline's gonna be too busy. I'll keep everything nailed down here. Contact the Juno field office. Get you some backup. Think you can scare up a charter flight for this man? Sure, I can do that. Okay, let's go. Let's go. You want a window or an aisle seat? Well, maybe you should come with me. I don't think so. Why not? It's your case too. Yeah, Alaska's a little outside my jurisdiction. Besides, I have real detective work to do. You'd be Where are they? I will. In the it's office. In the office. Oh, okay. You guys should get a plane. Get okay, a so plane. can we just talk about this for a minute? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Was... It all makes so much sense. What is there to talk about? No, no answers for weeks and weeks and weeks. And then everything just dumped at one time so that our brains are about to explode. Do you feel that way too? Yeah, I totally they gave do. us all of this exposition on mm -hmm. the day that she didn't sleep well. Yes, and I can't process it at all. My brain is... <laughs> Wait, Alaska? Well, <laughs> Virgin, you know. I know, so I know. in Alaska. Okay. But so, what's and he what happened? Somebody the the security guard was burned. So now is it possible that Mulder is zapping people with plutonium or something? And who's Maybe security guard? Him. Which security? Where? Which who's security guard? In From Alaska. where? 
Well, they just said that when that they found that there was some security guard that got burned and then also they found Mulder's car going across the border into Alaska. I I caught that part, but but I don't quite know what we're supposed to think of it. Are they trying to make it seem like Mulder is doing something bad or is he being, I don't know. What do you get of this, Daniel? I love the fact that they they themselves know that they are confusing us at the moment. So they just told us what to do next. You have right. your yeah. in your inventory. Why don't you click it? Let's do that. You have mail. You have mail. Thomas Nielsen, I think, asked before in the in the chat if this technology existed in 1990. Well, we had video conferencing back in 1998. Not in this resolution. It was you'd get one frame per uh, ten seconds and hope for the best. Okay, Agent Wilmore, I have completed an initial analysis of the bomb type that destroyed the structure in Charno. What's Washington? Yeah. yeah. I'm a little concerned. This was a very professional device. I believe it was used. It used a compound called HGW907. Extremely powerful blast, chemically used exclusively by the U.S. military. Navy SEAL, to be exact. It is a super stable compound that starts as two separate catal- catalytic agents. When the two agents are mixed, are mixed, they will not detonate. The cohesion takes place in the presence of a low amperage direct current electrical signal. So long as the baseline f- voltage is maintained mixture remains inert. If the voltage in- increases, decreases, or stops, then what the hell? <laughs> okay, why do we have to know this? Is... Please stop, please. This are we going not... be... to be doing, building something later? Do we have to know that information? No, That's so crazy. we're not building anything. Okay, <laughs> here are the GPS coordinates. Alaska. Well, we will open a map. Let's go there. We're going to go to Eisenhower Field. All right, let's go. Creepers, creepers, man. Ooh. Look at that hat. It's like a mime, a mime's hat. <laughs> or is that supposedly Russia? Is that like a, is that indicating somebody from Russia? Probably. Oh or my God. France. 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 I know. Okay. Okay. Let's find this piece of crap. Maybe Mulder's there. Come on, get us a door. Go in the door. Get the door. Oh. Do we need to save the game like soon? Do we I just save the game? A Russian mime from France. <laughs> Maybe the wallet is beneath this. Ah. Let's go up the stairs. Yes. <sighs> oh, body. Is that a body? Yeah. Why can't I look down? What? Oh my gosh, you can't even look down at what you did. There we go, gosh. Oh, I can talk to him. Perspective is, oh, oh dude. Why are, you, why are you touching no. it? No, I'm going to touch it. <laughs> why am I grabbing it? Now I look like the bad guy. He looks, I think Wilmore looks pretty, he looked really evil right there. Sinister. Hey, sinister. hey, wake up. Hey, wake up. Give it a try. Sometimes that hey, works. wake up. What happened to you? Where's Mulder? Is he talking to a dead body? I... He's crazy. We're, we're the whole time. Agent Wilmore is the crazy one. But that was just weird. This is That's not. Weird. That was weird. Wilmore How'd they graduate from the academy. How did they graduate from the the game the the game from the academy school, right? of making? How did these guys make uh, graduate the academy of making games? Because clearly they're not adhering to the rules. Academy of making games. Right, <laughs> there we, should be we one. Have like a, um, do, 
Do we have a heart kit in our inventory? We can. I, I'm, I'm clicking the AI that? helper. Oh. Open attic Open door. Attic door. <laughs> okay. I don't care where the attic is. Open the door. Let's do this. There's always movies where they open the door and the ladder comes craning down, crashing into people. Mm -hmm. I was expecting it has that. to have another one. Is that Mulder? Hey, yeah. geez, man, do I know you? Cable guy, <laughs> you all right? No. What's the matter? My foot's gone to sleep. <laughs> What's the matter? I'm hog tied. <laughs> Agent Wilmore, FBI. Funny, I took you for a spook. Just sitting cross-legged. Like in let's in go, let's get there, going. You know? Say say the I'm stuff. Looking let's do for it. you. Well, you found me. Boom, next one. Spoken with Scully. How is she? She's better. Next one. She's out of the hospital. No, it's a sanitarium. I dropped her off there after she was shot in the warehouse. I called the Seattle office for more backup, but all they sent me was more cleaners from the NSA. Who'd you speak to? I didn't have time to ask. We barely got away. My I, partner. I, I didn't want to notify anybody of Scully's whereabouts because I didn't know who I could trust. We know who that is. We know who it is. How did you get here? I was in she a rail yard right when in the Roush warehouse. kidnapped me yeah, and stole my car. Shot. I always wanted to see the Pacific Northwest. Oh, right in my West. warehouse. Unfortunately, there's not much view from the trunk. Roush is downstairs. You're kidding. He didn't flame you? I beg your pardon? Oh, nothing. What condition is he in? What? Uh, <laughs> unconscious and covered in 48 motor oil. Oh, Roush. Yeah, he always did have a kinky streak. Okay, why would you just leave him down there? He could wake up. Well, we tried to talk to him. Let me guess. Was this uh, rail yard on rural route 1121? You got it. They use it as a staging area. Yeah, so I've been told. There's so much exposition. Frohickey sends his love. Well, you're quite the social butterfly. Frohickey, Roush, Scully. Do you know Skinner? Yeah, he set me on the case. I should have known. Why did Roush kidnap you? Roush is a Navy surgeon who's involved in alien experimentation. The alien that controlled him or controls him crashed into the sea two months ago. You're a kook. What? I'm, I'm telling you, this is like the ending of Phantasmagoria 2. <laughs> We're one step away that, from You say that next. about all the games. You did say the alien that controlled him. Well, there's a species of alien that can use humans as host. The, the parasite completely takes over the target human, even gaining access to knowledge that the human possesses. The only way you can tell the difference is there's a thin film of black oil that swims over the victim's eyes. The crew of the Terracon came across one of these Valdez-type aliens, who promptly nuked them. The government apprehended it and put it in one of their boxcars, but somebody screwed up and it escaped. He sounds like a loon. He sounds there like be... he's reading his, uh, his lines from a card behind the camera. Yeah, but it's funny. I, I think that if you were to take, if you were to take all the things that Mulder said out of context, you know, in, in the show, it was always like, this really could be happening and he's one of the few people who who know it but when you hear the actual things he says it's just so it's so cuckoo pants and uh, we, we didn't see it, get to see it build up like if we had seen somebody yeah. with the black swimming behind their eyes you know if we had seen all this build up throughout the game that would then we'd be it would be a reality that that has yeah that's kind we've of seen it in the show ZJ Wex tipped 15 pieces 08. Isn't it ironic? Mulder is talking about a person being controlled to a character being controlled. Yeah. <laughs> it is, it is. Thanks. Thanks, Rex. Yeah. The irony indeed. Yeah, Roush had that uh, same black film on his eyes. Yeah, you're lucky he didn't try to kill you. I'm pretty sure the alien's trying to get back to its ship. That's why it used Roush to get here, but I have no idea where that ship might be. As I was coming up, I saw a man in black fatigues leaving the house. Well, we've got to catch up with him. He's the new host. But we have to figure out where they're headed. The mine? I know. So I was given the location of a secret government facility by three men via video conference. Oh, that sounds like a reliable source. 
All right, pick up the phone. This is getting exciting. So the alien yes. is hosting Agent bodies. Agent Wilmore, it's Dana Scully. Where are you? Look at that. We've uh, got Juno, some Mulder and Have Scully. You Mulder? Yeah, he's right here. Thank God. Can I talk to him? It's Scully. Scully, where are you? I'm on my way to Juno. Well, who's your travel agent? Byers, Frohickey, and Langley. God love him. Do you have your cell phone with you? Yes. All right, I'll call you back. He's on it. She's on it. She's all talking right, to him. Back. back. It's this as if good. they told him, okay, we've got one hour worth. to film all, all oh, the Oh, we're going to shoot some stuff? Oh, we got some. All right. Okay, so the host right, left like this other guests. guy. In NSA? Or Jehovah's Witnesses. This is where the game should have started. This should have been the very opening scene. And then you get away and meet us there. Hold on. I was assigned to find you and Scully. I've done that. I'm out of here. What kind of attitude is Come that? On. The game's not over yet. Don't you want Bill to wait Moore. around for the payoff? The game's not over yet. He <laughs> said the game's not over. Is that what he said? Yeah. Okay. He said, he the said game's what? Not what over yet. <laughs> That's good. A little humor. Now what? Let, let's save. I can't believe that he said the game's not over yet. Hey, can we go to our ho Can we go to our apartment and take a nap and be in game day six? Oh, you saved it to Tori one. Is that what you're supposed to do? Yeah, because I'm not sure if I'm gonna die in a second, so I want to make sure that I'm not saving in a unwinnable situation here. Okay, okay let's see. We got these guys waiting over here. What should we What should we do? When we go left, then we have the same left twice. Yeah. Oh my God! Please, getting stop, so stop stop doing that. Please stop doing that. <laughs> Um, what should we do? Get our pull our guns out because there's guys downstairs, right? Do we need our gun? Man, let's use our words, Tori. Words. <laughs> Tori <laughs> likes to come out blazing. <laughs> <laughs> or fried. Tori lets her gun do the talking. <laughs> That's right, man. All right, I'm just going to close my eyes until you get wherever you're going because I'm. <laughs> Paul's going to throw up. Yeah, I know. Gonna... Don't they get navigation courses in the academy? Hey, Stream Elements just said, don't forget to like and subscribe. Please like or subscribe. That was your. Like, like and subscribe that was our YouTube you commercial. Game. Okay, oh, they're there. Oh, they're just standing out there, just waiting for us. Okay, shoot them. Go ahead, right there. Agent shoot Wilmore, right we're with the National Security Agency. We've been tracking a plutonium smuggling ring from the former Soviet Union and Yugoslavia through Hong Kong and into Seattle. And we have hard evidence that the Terrakem was a courier ship which carried goods from outside the Seven Mile Zone. Plutonium killed the crew as well as the man who died in Charno. The investigation here is over, Agent Wilmore. You will immediately no board a plane for Seattle. We will assume your duties here. We will take you to the airport now. Hey, game over. I don't think so, government cover up. Wait, what should we do? Run into the woods, run into and the shoot woods. NSA men, or go with NSA men? Come on. Shoot them. No, hey. we should run. No, we gotta run. run. We have to run into the woods. Nice. Good jump. Good jump, Wilmore. Wait, where's. Where's Mulder? I like your. I, I'm, I'm <laughs> he ran running. into the night. I'm He's been running nonstop until it got dark. Holy cow! Yeah, how did that happen? He outran a car for hours. Now what? Left, right. Go. Great. Like, yeah, jump up the. Oh man! Uh -oh. oh. There you go. Oh, Ooh, God. right in the shoulder. Okay, we need to go right or left. It's a nice little house, though, says Aurelius. Uh-oh. Is that what's left of our bones? Yeah. It's him. What? Thank you. What? <laughs> Why is he a skeleton? What? I mean, he got shot in the shoulder. How is he... A skeleton now. Because they probably I... buried him. And as we've him? seen things going in the FBI, it took a, it took 
them a few months to find his body. Yeah. But she was still a young woman when they saw the body. If she was like 65 or 70, it would have made sense that it that the bones those were clean bones. They those had were been, clean bones. They were yeah, dipped in acid and or yikes. Oh, we get to try again. Thank God. They're not gonna make us go back and start the game over. Go right or left. Let's no, go don't right. go straight. Yeah, go that way. Okay. That's yeah. so ahead. stupid because the, the... Oh, we're dead again. <laughs> there was a building. There was a building he could have... I mean, if Did there's one building? crappy thing about this game, it's the navigation. But... And now we have a navigation puzzle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, did you see the building? Wasn't there a building? Okay, let's go right. Going straight ahead. Uh, go, let's go right again. No. Oh, great. <laughs> okay. We went, just go right and then straight ahead. Right. Right and straight ahead. So okay. right and straight. Somebody write it down. Maybe wrong. Maybe wrong. Maybe wrong. Paul, stop eating. Write something down. What do you mean, Paul? Well, I'm not. Oh. Right there. Did you see that? Okay. See. No, not at all. Okay, I'm clicking this. Hide under or something. Those guys, aliens that are in disguise. More than one host at a time, the alien. They can, can the alien have more than one host? I wonder. No, it's hosting itself and moving from person to person. Okay, so who are those two guys? I mean, what's their deal then? Something's amiss. If things are foot. Hey, there's the Aurora Borealis up there. Yep. Another. I mean, they, they want to use the alien. These burns uh, match the well. others. Mulder's gone on ahead. I don't, I don't think we have much time. Where did you come from? Who, who, who's this? That's Mulder. Or Scully. Oh, it's Scully. But, who, but who's, the, who's the other? Who's the guy? Jeez, there's a bunch of dead people. Stop touching things without gloves. What's wrong with everyone? Oh boy, here we go. More navigation. Ooh. I mean, look in those trunks. Good. Ray is offering help, Daniel, because the navigation in this section is just horrible, he says. In this section, he means in this game. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay, Ray, tell us where to go. Wait, let me find Scully. Then I'll use her as. I think you have to save today too. We're, we're getting all kinds of messages here. Oh, but boy. There's two more days still, right? What? Two more days? I mean, we have to go back home and go to sleep? Twice? Can we go, home? Can we go to sleep right now? <laughs> Can we do that? I don't want any, I want to get to the next day. They, 
This is supposed to be the last section. Okay. Last section of this day oh, this or of the game? No, of this game. Okay, this. Ooh. Where is she? There was somebody there. What was that? Straight back. Wait, what was that? There was someone sitting in that room. Which room? This room? No, where were we? There was a different. Oh, I thought I saw. I thought okay. I saw someone. We have to find a room with some washing baskets. Okay, okay. this is the type of um, of guidance. Okay. That... It's like the walkthrough telling me to go someplace and I can't find those places. By the door handle. Oh. No. no. We're not getting to use our hint either. sure that all in all this game has like what's on the floor mm -hmm. nothing i can pick it up and what's the point of those monitors be lighting up like that i feel like we should be able to look at something on them oh, okay, okay. here's skull there there she is Jeez. okay now from scully let's see go forward until you find an operating Going forward, but well, we were in that operating room a little bit ago. Yeah, we were there. But he didn't know that. He didn't know what he was looking for. <laughs> oh. Okay. To go forward. Don't. He didn't say go right, left, go right, left. He said go yeah, forward. Yeah, that's the thing. There is no oh. forward. Yeah. Okay. Oh, didn't you need the laundry bins? Yeah. Yeah, I'm in the laundry bins. Oh, okay. Let's Kill that person. We don't even have time to get our gun out. <laughs> oh, man. Craig Gilmore. Craig Wilmore. The, the death scenes are so chill. What was the tab? What was the inscription? Moron. Yeah. Almost. All right. Go get your gun. It's your gun. You don't have your gun. Nice. Good job. Get him again. Get him again. <laughs> Should we chase him? Should we chase him down? Yeah. Got it. Where's the operating room? I don't know. It's Kill one policeman, go straight. There you go. Okay. <laughs> this is the operating room. Yeah. And pick up the cattle prod from the side table. Cattle prod. Side table. Up, up, up above you, up above to the right. Or to the, yeah, straight ahead to the right. Behind the first table on the right. This is the upper. That table, well. Oh. There we go. The Should left, be something. Okay. You can't grab anything. There oh, there it is. is. Behind, in the back Red with thing. the handle. There you go. You got it. Nice. Explain That's the cattle mutilation. It's my, it's our partner. Agent Wilmore, fancy meeting you here. here. So it's you? Yes. It's yeah, baby. Yeah. Didn't even, didn't even let him do a villain, you didn't let him do a monologue. Shot him 
You didn't. You didn't give. You didn't let him have his. Uh, his. Well, Ray Cooper said, "Whatever you do, don't shoot." <laughs> or you'll get a bad ending. He said, "No." Okay, what? What's gonna happen Daniel to us is now? Really tired of playing this game. <laughs> we done? No. Let Let me reload. Well, why? Well, let's might as well see what our bad ending is. Seemed like we were still able to move along. So I guess we have to listen to the monologuing villain after all, huh? Do we have to? We have to get the cattle prod again. He says, "Get rid of him in another way." We have the cattle prod, so he might leave yeah, that. Oh, that's right. Now I need to find the. Daniel just guy. reaches for the gun no matter what. He's just like boom, boom. Now, come on. We have a cattle prod, Daniel. Yeah, why did you suggest it, Ball? <laughs> you, he was, you were quick drawn so fast, I couldn't, couldn't get it out. All right, you got lost again. Didn't you? you don't even know. Where is Do we have to thing? shoot the policeman again, or is he going to be? I'm going to shoot anyone and everyone. That gets in the way of you finishing this game. <laughs> Wait, can't break. God. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oof. Do we still have the prod or do we have to go get it? We have to get it. Okay. We got it. Yeah. Okay. Let, while he's doing his monologuing, you have to pick up the okay, you prod. Gotta, you have to pick up the prod. Oh! Pick it up again. Pick up the cattle oh, pack. Pick it up. <laughs> it's not letting you. Agent one more. Oh. Ah, oh. Yes. Nice. Man, we never heard the monologuing villain though. You just got. We want. I wanted to hear him say why he turned bad. I'm not then he would get the killed. Game. <laughs> Come on, we need to know. Uh, you know, it's always good to know why a villain made their the poor choices they made yeah you know what we're missing at the moment more exposition yeah exactly i need less information at the moment i don't need to know anyone's intentions it looked like uh it I'm looked still like trying to process all the other information it looked like a part uh, uh agent wood is that his name wood gary wood what was what's our partner's name cook is it cook, cook. But it looked like he got a haircut. He, look, he looked all fresh before now we zapped him with the cattle prod. <laughs> now keep walking until you see Mulder. These oh, kind boy. of instructions are useless. What kind of walkthrough is this? Walking until you find Mulder. I can walk for days. Johan Harding just said, seeing Adrian and Curtis makes me want to play the Phantasmagoria games again. Played those games. I was way too young. You and everybody else on this uh, channel, I don't think there's a single person, well, maybe there's a very few people that are part of our uh, That were the yeah, right age. Our, yeah, our, that were the right age when they first played. Our demographic on this channel is 97% the ages of 35 to 45, which means that they were you all played seven this or 17 when they played the game, between those ages. Seven. Um, you're... you're Shame on your parents and shame on you guys for sneaking past your parents. Like I said, my parents never bought me any of the Phantasmagoria games. Well, so you, but you snuck it by. Yep. Did they know you were playing it? No. They, of course they not. They just realized that I was playing them like years later. A few months ago, I was interviewing for an Israeli retro channel and I told them that I've I told on the in the interview that I've been sneaking these games past my parents, and then they find found out. Like in twenty twenty three, were they horrified? Yeah, they grounded me. Now I have to sit at home and stream all day. When I was a teenager, I did some. My friends and I did some stupid, you know. Things, jumping off bridges, doing all kinds of stuff that kind of put us in harm's way, just being a little too dangerous. 
and you know all worked out okay but and my mom would have just had a heart attack if she had ever ever knew so years later when i had stopped doing dumb things like that i told her what we did thinking that because it's years later now and that i'm safe and no one got hurt that she would have been found to kind of humorous but it was the absolute opposite it was as though i wish i'd never told her because she had just immediately like are you kidding me you did that she was so she had still had the moment of just how frust how you know how bad it could have gone did she ground you are you also grounded i've been grounded since since then you can't find scully we're just sitting here wandering around this is crazy a, a two we were back in, any, we're back in the hints? operating room. There aren't any hints. The hint is go find Mulder. Mom's instinct for sure. Now keep walking until you find Mulder. We've been doing that. Okay, let's see. see. My mom encouraged us to do crazy things because we weren't crazy enough. She wanted us to go out, go to parties. Come on, really? don't you stay home? Why don't you go Did to the park? Get into some trouble for goodness sake. <laughs> <laughs> we were such little goody two shoes. Really? Oh, that's for funny. A curfew? What's wrong with yeah. you? Should I go to a party or something? <laughs> but we were we were daring. Like we would go to the beach and swim by ourselves and ride yeah, our skateboards look. everywhere and our bikes everywhere and we you yeah. know we did all that and rode horses and we did all that. That was our. Yeah, you had your. Uh, this looks like we're getting closer to Scully. Please, God. Where is he? She. There, that one, that last one, not that one. Wait, no. we're looking for Scully or Mulder. I thought we they Mulder. said we'd run into Mulder. Looking for yeah. Mulder? Look, Mulder. We knew Scully was here. The worst things I did as a kid was steal other kids' Beyblades, and I even wrongly accused a boy of threatening me. I was also bullied a lot in elementary school. Ugh, that's the worst. Yeah. I go into a lot of elementary schools and the theme is constantly about anti-bullying, which I think is so good because back in the day uh, when we were going to school, that just wasn't talked about we as much. Talked about it, yeah. yeah, you just had to endure it. I mean, it's mm. still bad, but but I do think I do think that it's, in many places it's gotten lot better wait is there a switch we can can we do something here what's that life support system something that get us that like can we just say enough with this game we can't take it anymore hit the hit the button hit the eject button what's the life it said life support system hmm. okay you know what i'll do i'll just stand yeah. still we need it. We need help. There it is. Okay, maybe it's here. Maybe it's there. I'm getting. We're getting all kinds of getting all kinds of responses about. How to... Ooh. Oh. Wait. Who who got shot? Mulder, you kill us. I'm glad you're here. I know where Agent Mulder is. Come with me. Oh, no, she had the black thing in her eye. Oh. <gasps> I'm shoot? here I am trying to hear. Oh, we're dead? We lost? Game over? Or are you just saving like crazy now? Do we have to walk around for three more hours again? <laughs> Wait, so she killed, did she, who did she shoot? I was looking at the chat for a second. I couldn't see who she shot. She shot an agent, and then we found out that she's an alien. And she's got the black, bloaty eyes. <laughs> Finally, we got to hear Tori using profanity on this live stream. Well, what did I say? <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> did I say what something did, I didn't what, even remember? <laughs> what, did, what did she just say, Daniel? I'm so proud of it. Oh, I did? Yeah. See, your mother taught you well. I swear like a sailor, but I swear like a sailor. She said she would tell us, it's okay if you swear at home. We had we were foul mouth. It's okay if you swear at home, but when you leave the house, you cannot do it. Impossible. Were you were you able were you able to keep it uh, to have two personalities? Did you were you able to keep that 
in check? Um, somewhat until we got until we were older, and then. And then you let it rip. Then it was like, why? why oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. So now, Daniel, we just got. I'm confused. Are, do we have to go back, or are we? Are we moving for, forward in the in the game? Moving forward in the game. So we just saw her leaning over the guy, but didn't she just shoot us? And isn't she an no, alien now? No, but we died. She killed us. She, so killed, she, us. she, she killed us. Okay, so I see. We had to start part of it over. But was it near the laundry baskets? Is that where she? Is that where we were? I can't remember. Oh wait, wait, wait. Let's just stop for just a second. Hold on. So she. <laughs> In the last moment when we died, she killed the agent, and then she walked up to us and said, I know where Mulder is, and then she yanked us out of the frame. And that indicates that we've been killed? Yeah, because we returned to the main menu. But didn't it look like she was sharing us, trying to get us to wherever Mulder was going to be? Why didn't she, she just shoot us? Again. Why didn't she, she just shoot us too? Again. Because she's probably using us as host, and then... Oh. She, Oh if my we... God! Idiotic persona. Oh, this is this is. Come on, just get us to help us. I mean, the thing is, it shouldn't be. The game shouldn't be us being lost all the time. That can't have been their goal. That will just make it so confusing that they can't figure out how to get from one room to another. There are too many rooms, and there's no shape. This whole thing. <laughs> and and the dimension it's a two two and a half dimension world yes exactly wait so how how young were you when you started cursing like a sailor mm, probably a teenager so you used your teenage um, years to curse like a sailor we used our teenage years to play fantasy world one too yeah yes yeah but I was, yeah. But I was, other than that, I was like, a, I was very good. It wasn't a troublemaker. I was not, I was not a difficult teen at all. My mom had it easy. She had really had it easy with us. We were, we were little angels. <laughs> but now you're, you're, you're ah. out of control. <laughs> it's this hard, hard reining you in, Tori. Yeah, we'll have to change the rating of this live stream to mature because you used profanity <laughs> so much in the live stream. <laughs> we can't have young children here, you swear. Oh, exactly golly, jeez. All right, I'm going to read some comments while you guys, while Daniel fi tries to find his way out of here. Um, here, the Schattenjäger says it. This bit was near impossible, even with the walkthrough. I know, because it tells to find Mulder. And I, I, even, I can't even find Scully. What did we do last time when she walked up to us? Well, but then we don't want her to walk up to us. Maybe, so, maybe when she walks up to us, we should show this. Can you, well, we're, Mulder is, someone says where you see the body on the floor, that's where Mulder is. But we saw her, but we couldn't get her activated, right? Can we use our cattle prod on her when she's on the floor? <laughs> do we still have the cattle prod? <laughs> I don't think no, we have it no. anymore, do we? No. The nightmare to walk we, in these rooms. Can we it's so true. pull a gun on her? And then that no, because the gun won't kill her. Remember what Mr. X told us like five times? The gun won't help. No, you're right. Oh, but we have our thing, our other thing. Yeah, the thing that thing. will help. The special, whatchamacallit. Our special tool. Why Ray we says, when you look into the room with the flashing screens, turn right, and then check every possible door to the right of you. One of them lead to the laundry baskets. Okay. With the flashing, oh. whatever. Let's see. If we use our special tool on her, will it zap the alien out of her? I wonder. Oh, he says, from the room where you see Scully leaning over the body, go forward and then right to a room. Okay. Now, I need to find Scully. <laughs> Wax says that poop is his contribution. Okay, 
Okay, these are the flashing uh, screens. It's crazy. From the room we see Scully. Uh -huh. Oh wait, the laundry basket. Mm -hmm. that's, that's oh, where we... hey, there you go. Okay, now. Okay, 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 get that thing. You just did something. It's the alien. Something happened. I think you just <laughs> detonated a bomb and we're all dead. Yeah. Mm. That wasn't the answer. Okay. okay. <laughs> Well, I still didn't get to see what he yeah, what was written on there. The point of that no, Zwex, I think I screwed up the way you, you stated it perfectly. At one point, you just wrote, oop, like, oh, man, we're, we're just having, just a, it's just a, we're all feeling how frustrated you are. And then you said, that's my contribution. I said it the opposite way around, like, poop is your contribution, which isn't what you meant. You were being funnier and a little more subtle than that. And I just, so sorry. Um. I don't know, guys. What do we do here? Wait, how, how quickly can we get back to the to the? All right, I'm t I need to take a one minute break. Okay, we'll we'll forge on without you. Don't don't do anything break. exciting until I get back. <laughs> don't worry. Believe me, it won't, <laughs> it won't happen. Oh my gosh, over oh, right existing game. All right. Um, Mr. Grumpy has fond memories of this game, except for this part. Great. If you had fond memories of this game and yet yeah, this part frustrated you, then we're in real trouble. Let's wait for Tori. Wow. Wait. Well, let's get to the spot that we need to get to. I mean, <clears throat> I don't want you. She doesn't have to watch you run, walk all over the place for five minutes. Funny, I thought you had a playthrough. Oh, you're gonna play through. Wow. Okay. A video, a video playthrough. <coughs> so, uh, funny, I'm opening YouTube and I'm seeing that we're live. So <clears throat> the universe can implode if I open. Yeah. Don't 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 watch us. We're not gonna help us. Uh, someone thought maybe Zwex thinks that no. Someone said try the handcuffs. Maybe Johan. Daniel's watching a previous live stream so he can just follow the visual oh. prompts of what someone else did. Oh, really? Okay. All right. I feel a little bad that we're cheating, but... No. Jeffrey oh. tipped $15. <laughs> Thank you for going out of your way to show us all of the different possible death scenes in this game. You guys are doing <laughs> great. Really love the series. Yeah, yeah well, you know, I'm glad you appreciate all the work we put into screwing up as much as we do. It, it's not easy to, to not get yeah, through a game you. as quickly as we don't get through a game. Thank you, Jeffrey, appreciate that. We like to show you everything. Yeah, I mean, they, the, the gamers, we we're, this is our, mm -hmm. we're showing some mad respect to the developers here. Okay, get us, get, get us somewhere, let's go. Okay. God's sake. We grab the teleprod. I didn't believe you guys are eating. I lost my. Let's get the like cattle prod. Mm, I'm hungry. Sorry. Now we're going to look left. Okay. Now we're going to look left again. Now we're going to go 
straight ahead and we're gonna look right what? <laughs> and then we're gonna go straight ahead wow what? Well, oh this is new yeah it's then new we're gonna go over here okay and then scully's gonna pull her gun get your gun ready Get your cattle prod. Don't throw up the. Oh, there's a there's a eyeball right there. You missed an eyeball op opportunity. What? Oh. Ellie should be here, but she's not. Go go back. Hit that. Go. There's an eyeball. If you go to the left, you'll see a, a, yeah, an eyeball. There's there it an is. Eyeball with the machinery. Okay. Maybe yeah, now that you go like... back, you'll see her. Holy mackerel. I need to interview the developers of this game. No. Wait, maybe we missed something with uh, Scully. Maybe we need to tell us. Okay. Electrocuted cube. Oh, we need to find Mulder. <laughs> Is it one of the rooms? Me the bee says. Me the bee. Was Mulder? Mulder wasn't the one on on the ground that Scully was looking at. Yeah, who was that? Oh my God, this this game. I mean, honestly, and this the, game the was story, a commercial success, and Phantasmagoria Two wasn't. The story of the game and the fact that they got real, legitimate, you know, A list. TV stars in the game. All of it's pretty good. It's it's kind of interesting to be Agent Wilmore and to be doing this, but just the game itself and the dynamics of it, they're, they're so frustrating. It really, you know, if they had... Oh. This could have been a really cool okay, now walk gaming experience. Here. Yeah. Right. Mr. Grumpy mm. writes, I've been playing, oh, Mulder, mm. so young. I need your help, Scully. I need two of these keys to get past the blast door and into the storage chamber. I need for you to help me. Uh-oh. Mm, his eyes. Okay, we got to make some decisions here. Uh, what do you need to, what key are you talking about? Why did that kill us? Did we wait too long? Did we wait too long to ask him a question? Or was the question the wrong question? Let's get back to Scully. Mr. Grumpy said... I've been playing video games for 35 years, but this part is tattooed on my memory as the most frustrating thing I've ever played. This is probably the first game I had to look up on Game Facts. Oh, okay. So I feel a little better. Okay. Now, you know what? I'm going to see what he's doing over here. Okay. Um, Who's the dead guy over there? Okay. Is that the police Whoa. guy that we shot? I don't know. The, the navigation in the dialogue is uh, also confusing because I didn't notice that when we talk to Whoa. him, Why we can scroll good? down and ask Scully, oh. run. Scully, run. Run. <laughs> now we're all lost again. I won't be able to find him. No, we just ran to get there, and now you're making us run away, and now we're all... In different rooms again. And oh, we're using. Oh okay. Are we using. Hmm. Yikes. Are we supposed to use the stiletto? No, For something to live, you never be blah blah blah. 
So I'm here. The game is relentless. But we have to finish it today. We have to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I need your help, Scully. I need two of these keys to get past the blast door and into the storage chamber. I need for you to help me. Something about help me. Let's go down. What is the thing? What are the options? Our options are. What is no, no, what do we're doing it's fine. Scully Run is the correct run. one. But when I'm in that corridor, I need to pull out my gun and then look right. Pull out my gun and then look right. You missed. Yeah, I was lucky. Okay, good job. A vote of confidence. Okay, now I shot him. <laughs> now I need to look down. Okay, and then look up oh my gosh and open the door open wow there's the door. where are all these dead people yeah who are these dead people let's touch them without gloves yeah <laughs> okay nothing interesting about them let's go wait that go. door straight ahead and then to the right Now we're safe to find Scully. Nice job, Daniel. Darian 174. Hello, welcome. And straight ahead. And left. And there's a button. Can we push the button again or no? The, the guy from the place where he's also lost. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> when was this playthrough done? Four years ago. No I'm sure he's still lost. <laughs> okay, straight ahead. Left. Okay, straight ahead. Left. Team socks. Johan just said, how can I convince my non-gamer girlfriend to play Phantas both Phantasmagorias? I really want to share the experience with her. Mm. It's a tough one. Well, you can tell her that, that Curtis and Adrian both think it would be a good idea. Yeah, we don't play game. We, we weren't gamers and we both had a great time playing the games, right? Absolutely. And you got, you know, come on, you, you got the two people that are in the games telling you to play it. So, yeah, get on it, non gamer girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, do it. I think that the best, best reasoning behind playing FMP games is because when you move, an actual person and not an animated character connect differently with the character. Yeah, I like <sighs> it. It really feels more interactive, like you're a part of it. I mean, we, we just talked to Danny Dale the other day, and he voiced several of my favorite characters. And hearing the voice is one thing. Actually controlling, controlling the character mm -hmm. by a person <clears throat> is another. I think it's, yeah, it's fun. How's that? Uh... How's the uh, streamer doing, Daniel? Doing fine. Is the streamer still lost? Are, is he? Can, can, <laughs> are we all caught up to him now? Are you just going frame by frame with him? Oh, he, he was also lost. Okay, so he's looking right. Okay, got this. Is the dead guy fidgeting? I never got an explanation of why Wong uh, moved. As a corpse, remember the beginning of the game? Oh yeah, that was weird. I remember that. Now we're here. Go left. 
so stupid, but it's awesome. Left. Captain Salon Sirs tipped five pieces 08, you can do it. Show your dominance as the superior alien. I don't know, Captain okay, Salon. Okay, okay, wait. Thank you. Here. Okay. We're gonna save. We're gonna finish the game. We're gonna finish the game. We're gonna, fin we're gonna finish it. I'm gonna save it. Okay, so... Was Cook... Cook is the other agent, right? Yeah. So. Was he? Did he have the black eyes, or is he just about? Oh, that's a good question. Should we never like found a... out because we he shot him before we got to hear him to give some exposition. No, he didn't have the black eyes because it's if he about... would have had them, then uh, regular weapons wouldn't have helped. Oh, that's right. Okay. I forgot yes. the rules. Of the game. Oh. <sighs> you. I don't know what's wrong with Mulder. I think he's in some kind of a narco-somnambulistic state. Maybe if we yeah, can something. lure him into the isolation guess. chamber, I, I can contain him until I can figure out how to treat him. Okay. How are we going to do that? Well, first of all, we need I to locate just the other so that Mulder was chill looking for. And... Now, whatever is in that room is protected by some kind of a blast door. I don't think he's looks taking to me this like, seriously. Like the uh, the door is is operated by two key panels. Both keys need to be turned simultaneously, like launching a nuclear missile. Now there's a key guard in the corner What's of the room. What's up with the exposition, if, people? If I distract him, you can come up behind him and knock him out. Then we can use the key to get Mulder into that chamber. But first, we have to get the isolation chamber powered up. Now the the door to the security area locked itself behind me, so we have to get that opened up first. That was just so much. <laughs> okay, I'm using the AI um, helper. Man, the game is stuck. Dead game. All to engage. Let's do it. <clears throat> Hey, it's just like the end of Phantasmagoria 2, right, Daniel? Mm -hmm. Only There's a hint for us. Let's take the hint. We took the hint. The hint was the... Oh, now okay. we need to click that other button. Mm, there's a button we can... Okay. So let's go. Make sure to open both blast doors in the in the large room. Got to open them both. I think that's the large room right there, isn't it? Can you go to the door there? Go left. And straight ahead. This. You gotta open the other one too. You have to do it from the outside, or you have to do yeah, do it from the outside. This there's this little section reminds me a teeny bit of Inside. If you guys have ever played that, when no, I haven't played it. Okay, I've opened, uh, opened both. Okay, now that's all. That's all I saw in the comments. So now go in there, I guess. Check it out. Now, go in there. I need to, need to get Mulders to get in here. I should oh, lock right. myself in. Oh, okay, we want to lock ahead, someone in. Ahead, that's good. Straight ahead. Doing good, says Ray. First the recipe. <laughs> Go to the flashing screen room, says Ray. Oh. Remember or know where that is. Layla saving says, if this is Dimension X, no wonder the Hecatomb was so angry. I would be too if I had to navigate this place in the blind as a six-year-old. 
Okay. Press now the button you found thing. here before. Find the no. button. No, I need to go one more, then look left, and click. Now the button. The Adventure Game Hotspot, thanks for coming. AGH. Hey, yeah, we're, uh... Okay, now what? I guess go back. I don't know. I imagine Mulder's gonna find you now, and then you're gonna. Mr. Grumpy says save and save often. Okay. Do we head back towards that last room? <laughs> Everybody's commenting on how hard this game is, or or how. Not hard, but impossible. I know. Paul and I are stress eating. Yeah. Only I'm stress eating right now. <laughs> <laughs> that is the AI Stick to the left wall. There's a door in front of the area with Scully. It just takes all the the yeah, and our, our doors are shut. The doors shut. They look shut. Just didn't have time to. All the suspense just goes out the window, except the suspense of watching Daniel try to figure it out. Okay, I'm going straight ahead, and Scully will be here. Come on. Yeah. Okay. There she is. Let's hope this works. Any particular direction you'd like to claim? Oh God! Which direction? Left or right? Just, just looks. Go, go. Uh, go. I don't know. Yeah, go that way. That Save way. here, says Ray. Save right now. Oh. Phew. Yes. Thank and, then, and then go right. Oh, then go right. Okay. How am I, as the player, supposed to know that? Alright. Yeah, look at the hint thing. Doesn't help us. Hmm. What's this? Where'd this guy come from? Wait, you just stabbed and killed Mulder? Mulder? If this is how this game ends? This is a boo. You don't really okay. sit in a whole is bunch of. Is there another ending? Well, killing Mulder doesn't make. Are you gonna get much fired? I think we're gonna get fired oh, for this boy. one. What is it? Coffee beans? What's going on? Here? What are those little alien pods? It's coffee oh, beans. Because so Mulder liked that coffee. He did. No. <laughs> We're getting Stop fired. Firing us. <laughs> you killed <laughs> you killed the hottest actor and the hottest character in all the 90s. All right. So guys, it is 207. I've got about 15 max minutes, and that includes our, our, our giveaway for today. So we have to do this. Wait, so do we need to use the stiletto on him so that we don't we just kill the alien and not him? Is that what we do? Halt! What? Sir, I'm Agent Dana Scully with the FBI. Do not come any further. This facility has been overrun by terrorists. I need your assistance. I can't leave my post. Sir, I am an FBI agent. I am asking you have three for your seconds assistance. before I shoot. I One, need your help, sir. Two, I need for you to come three. with me. Did you try to shoot him? Yeah, I shot him. 
<laughs> I'm making sure she's dead. Oh boy. Oh my god, okay. Try again? Yes. Okay. You don't have to Thank wait that long to shoot, I guess. Shoot don't take that left. Oh, no, I need to. Halt! Sir, I'm Agent Dana Scully with the FBI. Do not come any further. This facility... Uh, I was... All right. Now what? Okay, what is our, what is our, we had our hint, we had our hint. Lore Molder. Okay. Am I luring him? How do we lure him? Do we lure him with the alien book? Yeah, go there. Let's lure, you go there? lure him with some navigation. Now hit the button, hit the button. Yeah, that door looked like it was going to open. He's having to pretend that it's actually... He's got all the... Where'd all the oil come from? The alien. Oh, where's the alien when he's got... Oh, who's... <laughs> That works. That just kind of blows up the whole world every time, doesn't it? Oh, what is for it for? Sakes. When does it work? What did yeah, we use that? Did we, have we used it for anything where it worked? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> well, it must be for, like, I feel like it's going to be used for something. Uh, you have to use it from behind, says Ray. Give it to Scully, says Gia. Let Scully do it, I guess. What is that? Yeah, I need to give it to Scully. Okay. okay. This game is great. That's weird because he's the hero of the story, but he has Scully do it. Right? Well, he's got some name recognition. Mm. Oh, sir, I'm agent. Boom. This? Go, go, baby, go. You got this. Go, Daniel, go. Give it to Scully. This is all just a cutscene right now? No, because I choose the AI helper to Laura Mulder, then he does it for me. But if Good. I wouldn't have clicked it, then I would have needed do all of this. Oh this boy. Way. Wish we had one of these for the whole game. <laughs> okay. so what's with the whole oil thing? I don't get it. That's the alien. The, the alien, alien is made of oil? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so now go give. Give it to her, give it to her. Give it to her, yeah. No time for slow motion. Let's get this over. <laughs> What you're gonna look like? This is the big moment. It's all black oil. When are you gonna turn into the alien? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? I think people are saying you did it. I'm here. I'm looking at Goddits. I'm seeing. 
I think we're all direct. We all have a collective sigh of relief. Wait, is there an, is there an outro? There we go. Now we need to choose between Dimension X and Jocelyn. Agent Wilmore, <laughs> I know you're upset by what's transpired, but we're all that's why I have to fire you. Our own goes bad. I never saw it coming. Mark was my friend. I should have been more attentive, perhaps, but none of us are at fault. Except Agent Cook himself. Hello. Come in, please. I just wanted to say goodbye. I spoke to Detective Astrodorian. Apparently, they searched Cook's apartment and found my laptop, fortunately. But uh, it seems as though Cook staged hmm. the break in here in order to make it look as if he'd been attacked. Well, it seems that Agents Mulder and Scully have been uh, talking to Assistant Director Skinner. Yes, apparently your work has received quite a bit of attention at the Bureau. You have quite a fan in yes. Assistant Director Skinner. Although I Being must promoted. admit some of what I've heard sounds a bit fantastic, to put it mildly. Well, yes, sir. I, know. I agree. I'd have to plead the fifth on that. Anyway, I've got a plane to catch, but Agent Mulder wanted me to tell you that his foot has woken up. That's a relief. Anyway, I wanted to say thank you. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. I would have. You're looking a little ragged around the edges. Why don't you go home and get some sleep? I'll see you here tomorrow, first thing in the morning. And oh, I expect your report on this matter to show up when you do. Yes, sir. Oh, Detective Astadorian also mentioned she had some paperwork for you to sign. She said she'd drop it by your place, although I told Ooh. her she'd send it here. I bet she. I'll well, bet she will. Adamant about <laughs> handing it off to you directly. Mm -hmm. um, bumba da bumba. Yes, sir. All right. Do they, now the do final they puzzle the, is the paperwork. Go, <laughs> the final puzzle is what? The paperwork. <laughs> Heavy rain. Agent Wilmore. I don't have time. I guess I know what you want. Hold on a second. I'll go get it. I think not. You'd better keep it. You're gonna need it again. Soon. What was the thing you picked up? The, the stiletto. Oh, the stiletto. Why would he keep it, though? You that know what? We're talking to him again soon because they never made another one of his beings. Yes, yes the game is over. This stupid game is over. <laughs> Why didn't they make another game Wait, if it was... Oh, Gillian Anderson, David. Sucks. Oh, I'd like to go back if I could see some of those people's names. Oh, my God. Brad Curtis. Brad Curtis. I know that person. Oh, man. Can you, you can't go back, can you? I think Brad Curtis was the was the doctor. I kind of recognized him, but then I, I didn't know it was him. Man, this game was great. Yeah. Okay, it's yeah, two sixteen. Yeah. Congratulations, Tori and Daniel. We did it. I, I felt very, you know, I felt like I was really on my A game for this whole series. I felt like I just knew exactly what to do yeah, all no. the time. You guys must have felt relieved at how much I was able to help us get through stuff. So <laughs> I'll let you. I'll let you guys pick up the slack next game. Okay, yeah, thanks, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to do a Wheel of Curtis in the meantime. Do Wheel of Curtis. Today's Wheel of Curtis is our donors for today, and they are going to, uh, we'll do a raffle for, we have several games that we will gift to you who the winner of this raffle. And uh, I'm not sure how far we got today, and I've got 22% of our goal. And if we get for to the, the full week. 100% for the week, that's for the week. So if we, I'll be streaming tomorrow, I mean on Wednesday. Daniel will be streaming on Friday. And if we get to 250, then we will do a raffle to see who might want to be our next co-host with the game of their choice. Also, we received 1,000 messages with our stream today, restream today. You guys were a chatty bunch. Thank you so I'm much. I'm sure, I'm sure that 50% of the messages were left, right. No, <laughs> that right. <laughs> the other left. <clears throat> I will say that I think yours was even worse than Tori and I trying to figure out how to get to the well in uh, 
in Phantasmagoria, the first game. Oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Man. It's not the same game. Of course it's not the same game, but it was it took no, just we were, as long. And you we were had just trouble as getting to the hopefully lost. The greenhouse we had trouble finding too, I think, right? Yeah, the, the greenhouse. Green. That was the one, yeah. We had trouble getting off, off the anywhere the grounds. Yeah. And I can't believe the game is over. Such a relief. <laughs> <laughs> Best way to get donations be hopelessly lost in a video game. That happens to us quite a bit, but I'm not sure if that always results in in donations. Um, all right, well, people thanks. hate Mondays, but these Mondays with X Files were pretty rough. They were rough. <laughs> oh, okay, Zwex and Moffat Reborn, and who else? Uh, coffee supporter and Jeffrey. Who was coffee supporter? Coffee supporter left uh, left her email. So if she wins, then. Oh. It Zwex. looks like Zwex wins. Boy, a big week for Zwex. He got to uh, co-host on Friday, and he wins a game today. Now, Zwex, you're welcome to whatever game of choice Daniel has available. So re reach out to him, or he'll reach out to you on on uh, Discord. If you want to gift that game, let us know, and we will find uh, we'll find and just let us know who you want to gift that to. Um, thanks, guys. That was fun. What are we? What's next? What 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 are we? What, what do you want to do with what is agent? Delaney and Agent Let's take a Curtis five Craig want to do after this game. What's that? Let's take you a like? five week break. <laughs> oh, man, we're on. We're we're good. We're solving crimes. We're you know finishing. You know, let's games. play. Let's play a lot. First of all, next Monday we don't have a live stream because we're interviewing Roberta Williams at the same time. Monday. The... Wait, next the Monday after next. No, right? Monday after next, right? So we have next Monday to play. Wait, can you join next Monday? Paul? I can. Um, because I who love navigation so much. Let's play Colossal Cave, Roberto Williams' new mm. game. Oh, that'd I, be kind of fun to play a little bit I of that. I would love to. That would, I was just thinking I want to play that game. That's This fun. way, when we get to the interview the week later, we'll say, mm. yeah, we played your game. Yeah, and just so you all know, um, next on Monday the 19th, we have Roberta Williams. She's agreed to come onto our podcast slash YouTube interview channel. You mean Monday she the and, 15th? Or whatever, yeah, the 15th. That won't be live. We're going to record that, and then we will uh, do some, you know, we'll freshen it up and then make it available. Uh, we'll probably do a YouTube premiere that we can all watch at the same time. But um, that's going to be the first time that Tori and Roberta will have seen or spoken to each other pretty much since uh, since they've wrapped Phantasmagoria 1 back in 1995. So that's going to be super cool to have the two of them. We can all witness them see each other again for the first time. It would be great if you guys had like some grudge against each other and you got into this huge argument. Yeah. Like, yeah, I can't believe it. I still can't believe you did this and blah, blah, blah. So <laughs> where's my paycheck, Roberta? <laughs> <laughs> um, that would be funny. Wait, so we should, got that. You should, uh, um, you should wear the orange sweater. See. I don't have the orange sweater. Orange sweater. You I don't should have buy it. an orange sweater. I'll buy one. <laughs> I'll find one. She should um, see me with something other than an orange sweater. Wait, are, this is this is not a, this is not a live stream though, right? It's a no. This, we'll we'll record now it's it. a live stream. No, this What's is. That? <laughs> this is. The Roberta one. Yeah, that'll be a, a we'll have a podcast. Yeah. Um, let's see. We'll try to use less profanity because we'll edit it out. Okay. Right. I'll try to control myself a little better next time. I got carried away. Uh, there's hey, Roberta people. Roberta should come with an orange sweater. We're getting a lot <laughs> of like talk about us playing Harvester. Uh, Paul and Tori would be good at L.A. Noir. I don't know what that is, but someone thought that was funny. Um, anyways, yeah, so we're gonna have a great time with uh, we're gonna have a great time with Roberta. Daniel, when do you think we will have our podcast number two available for streaming uh, both audio podcast and video yeah, podcast? Remember that? that we need to record the outro and we were supposed to do it right now, right? Okay, so we'll do that right now, uh, but not right now with you guys. Anyways, we'll let you all go. Thank you for a great day today, Tori. Awesome. Thank you so much. 
and uh, we'll see you next Monday. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Right. Yep. Bye. Take care. All right. Bye, everyone. Have a good one.